Video 23 of 30. You can actually get in trouble for failing to verify the square footage. I've seen situations where the listing says square footage is 2,400 square feet. That doesn't actually make it into the agreement. The seller never directly tells the buyer that that's the case, but the buyer physically sees the property and it's clear that the square footage buyer really doesn't care about because the property they've seen in person and they know it's adequate for their needs. We've actually seen situations where an agent can still end up in trouble with the Real Estate Council of Ontario because they fail to substantiate the information. As an agent, it's your job to protect your client's best interests, and in doing so, it also entails you validating the information your client may or may not know is important at the time they're making that acquisition. So it's critical that you always validate the square footage, the maintenance fees, anything and everything that you can validate, you should validate your capacity as an agent to protect your client's best interests and to stay out of trouble with the Real Estate Council. Ricky Rathor here again, broker owner at Emax Metropolis, real estate lawyer at Rathor Professional Corporation. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.